Go to your spot. Welcome back to you. And me. Or gaming. And this is another edition of our summer splash bash on board gaming. Uh, and this time we have an odd candy land for you. Yeah, if you've been keeping up with our videos recently, we are in Florida as part of our first vacation on the channel. So we have the Disney Parks Candyland. <clears throat> I really like this box. It's very whimsical, cartoony, uh, kind of like pastel colors. Yeah. You see here, you got Tiana and Goofy, Buzz down here. Really cool, all the sweet treats. Oh, yeah, look at this ditch. Mickey. In Minnie. the official Disney parks. One of the, I think it's the Dolby Stamp. there. Mad Hatter. Cinderella's got everybody on here. Dumbo. Oh, look, even Tinkerbell. Oh, yeah, even Tinkerbell. Shout out to the hotel lamp for giving us a lighting in this video. Everybody give a like for that <laughs> round of applause. Here's my key to get the package open. Oh, it even looks like it has the enchanted tiki room reference there. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a smooth box. That's it. It's just three plus. There's a little bit of the back. Two to four players. All right. Oh, there's a chocolate uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, the the dipper. Ice cream cone there, and a chocolate covered Mickey Mouse uh, apple candy apple. It's a really great box. Oh, this, there's even uh, we need to put on this balloon right there. Wow, Alice in Wonderland. With the cookies in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Instructions right, so on the front. Straight away with the instructions right on top. Colored. Hmm. So it's colored. That's kind of cool. So here is your little box. Objects, contents, set up. Very hard to work with the lighting when you're showing things up close. Then you have the younger player rules and the older players. Optional. Yeah. Uh, Gameplay rules. Kind of put a strategy to it. Yeah. The older players. Okay, so the first thing is the pieces are inside another Ziploc baggie, which makes it great for traveling and for like we're doing uh, now. storage. Uh, the pieces are not candy people. They're mm -mm. things that deal with Disney. I.e., a pirate boat, I'm guessing from Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm, possibly Peter Pan, maybe? I mean, it looks like... Later? What, one of the two. Yeah. I do know that this is a teacup from the Mad Tea Party ride. This is a horse from the carousel. And last but not least, the Disney Railroad train engine. You know the drill. All right, then we have the cards in the plastic still. And then everything comes in the blue tray. Yeah. Let's 
unfortunately, when we went to Disney, the railroad was not open. It yes, was we, under we renovations. Did go yesterday. We did go yesterday. So. So go check out our vlog on Yumi Vlogs. Should be uploaded soon, if it's not already, by the time you watch this video. Good shuffle for gameplay. Oh, okay, I was kind of hoping these were kind of themed a bit. But it's just the normal Candyland squares. They look, they do look more boxed, though. They're more boxy, yeah. They're not round. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the treats are rethemed. So we got the Mickey Mouse uh, pretzel. Mickey Mouse bow. Cookie bow. Chocolate uh, covered ice cream. Mickey Mouse ear ice cream. The candy. The iconic ice cream. Um, I guess it's banana orange. I don't remember exactly what what it's called, the flavor of it is. There's your popcorn. popcorn. Ooh. Um, and all the colored spaces. And then the colored spaces. Let's see how many. One last look through that. Game board. Four custom sculpted movers. 66 cards and rules. So it doesn't say exactly how many. Let's see. Is any other uh, special things that they put in this? Special cards. So I'm just going to double check through here. Do want to show off the back, though? Yeah, look at that in just a moment. So they're more squared than normal Candyland. I do, I mean, it's kind of like that. Kind of like that. That they squared it. It's going to take some getting used to, though. Yeah. Because I'm kind of used to the circled, rounded. Well, they are kind they're of rounded, but they're just more... Um, squared. They got rounded corners, but the rest of it is a square, or a rectangle. Yeah, look at this, all the treats. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the back of the So, cards. it says... Ride the train, pirate ship, carousel horse, or the mad tea party, whirling teacups, pass the last for the candy, um, teacup, pass, filled with candy, flowers, and lollipop trees. On the way, you'll spot Disney Park snacks and treats. Journey through Adventureland area, Tomorrowland area, Fantasyland area, to be the first to reach the castle and win the game. Hmm. Oh, so it's yeah. just a twist on the goal. No twist, just making um, it to the castle. Yeah. And I do believe that these cards look the same on the back. So you have the castle, the Tinkerbell, the ice cream. So it's kind of focused and the on Mickey Mouse. The top of the box there, but they had the treats at the bottom. Yeah, treats. I guess it's a pretzel. Yeah, that would the flash would have worked while showing the instructions off. So sorry about that. And so in the baggie yeah. for the pieces. All right, big board time. I'm really excited on how this looks. It was a cute game so far. I really like this addition. Didn't know this was a thing, so it's pretty cool. I wonder what year it is. Does it look like the part? All right. So, this is a, a four double, uh, a, what I call a, a four sided board where it folds four and folds. folds again. But I noticed one thing this, this, Ooh, trick to this board is not as square. So, when mm -hmm. I open it up, it's kind of thin looking. So, it's going to be uh, different. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh it's like the spaces are kind of smaller. Yeah, it's a skinnier board, it's a longer board. Yeah. And it's skinnier this way. So you start down here at Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie going into Adventureland. And then you have, okay, you have a shortcut to infinity and beyond. That's a cute little touch. Looks like there's more spaces in this one. There's round. Jungle Cruise. There's Tomorrowland. Oh, there's the churros. The famous churros. Oh, uh, looks like they did not incorporate any licorice spaces into it. So if you land on it, you do lose a turn. So you land on the stars and you go back for autographs. And continue around. Oh, here's another one here. Um, 
don't be la don't be late, move ahead so you can jump ahead and you could get put back behind. So and then right here is this way to the three o'clock parade. Snow so White that makes here. sense. That's a small world right there. Uh, after all. That Dumbo, Pluto, Tigger. And Aurora. Here's the Peter Pan over here. The princess is waiting for you. Yeah, okay, so it is the Peter Pan ship. Is it the Peter Pan ship? Yes, it is. It's the Peter Pan pirate ship. Hook's ship. Yes. Um, so, personally, uh, Candyland is not like the best game for me because there's, I would like the action spaces. This does not have any space to land on where you lose a turn, like you get stuck in the licorice, and the, this does not incorporate any of that. Right. Um, it could have been around the buzz area, like Zerg or something. Uh, that could have worked. Or they could have done more photo spaces. Stuck there for a turn because you got to get the photos. But, yeah. Well, this is Candyland, not um, shoots and ladders. But in Candyland, yes. the licorice spaces that you land on? Yeah. You lose a turn. I guess the only licorice space there is, at more or less, is the star. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess. Going back. Um, Yeah, it's Alvin, uh, Alvin and Simon. <laughs> Alvin and Simon? Um, Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Me. I'm thinking uh, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Mm -hmm. The Chipmunks. Uh, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. Pluto is getting all that gold. Actually, it's candy, actually. So you start off in Adventureland and make your way over to Tomorrowland. There's a little homage of... Uh, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise, but the riders are ice cream scoops. They're... Oh. Uh, a banana split without the banana. Maybe the banana is in the bottom of the boat. Maybe. There's the elephant uh, in the water. And then. It's a very detailed board. Tomorrowland. Surprise. I don't know how much you got a lot of. Uh, and there's a Zerg target. So that's a the touch. Shooter. Oh. There's a stitch. A stitch. Let's see. It wasn't a stitch ride. Uh, well, they did close it on Magic Kingdom. It wasn't Magic Kingdom, but it. Eventually closed, so. And there was a laugh studio there, and it was not open this time around. Yeah. Churros. I guess this is supposed to be like the homage to a Pirates of the Caribbean mm -hmm. kind of feel here. Um, and then we have the pretzel with Goofy. Dang, no space And he's mountain. signing an autograph, so that makes sense for this to come back down. Oh, you missed the autograph, so. Yeah, go, get, go back to Goofy. Yeah. And we have Princess Tiana in the Fantasyland area, along with Daisy Duck. And then Daisy we move cups. along from there to the Mad Tea Party. And then you get the Peter Pan ride. The fireworks at the end of the show. There's the train. And then... Oh, going look. down. Winnie the Pooh rod here. Yeah. The honey pot. You have a set of a honey pot that's even a cutout for you to sit in. So that's a good, a good touch there. This is a really good board. Dumbo. Seven Dwarves. This is actually a mine a train mine coaster. Train. So they just got Dopey and uh, Snow White there to kind of give a homage to that. Um, Cinderella, Sister Beauty. Bunch of cookies. So yeah. We'll show you the setup here. Stay tuned for the full playthrough on the channel. Alright, so. All pieces start there. Cards will go in the middle. I guess the cards will go in the middle somewhere. I guess you just shuffle them up. Or off to the edge. Like at the bottom. Because this, this is too good of a board to cover up. So you just pick a spot to put the. The cards anywhere on the board, it says, or in an easy reach place mm -hmm. for you to start to for everyone to be able to reach it with.
so for the setup purposes right now, I'll just stick it on top here, but you can put it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Down here, anywhere it's easy accessible for everyone who's playing it. It's going to be able to grab the card and do whatever it says. Um, the treat spaces. Is there a certain like, thing like for those just, treats? You go straight to it like in normal Candyland. Like it's just oh, like okay. You pick it up and you you go to it. All right. So it's if you get it and you could just straight yeah. straight or go back to that space. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't seem like any rules have been changed here. Yeah, it says here, when you move, when you draw a picture card, move your, move, move your forward or backward on the path to the pink space with a picture on the yeah. game board that matches the pink space with the square in your card. So, uh, for example, if you draw a popcorn, move your, uh, move your mover to the pink space on the board that shows popcorn. So, popcorn in this case would be in the middle of the board. Churros. Right next to the churros, even mm. though the popcorn is over here. Mm -hmm. As far well, as. It's, it's, yeah, it's popping everywhere around Tomorrowland. But then, it's sitting here next to the churros. Well, I mean, so. it's kind of. to give it enough room from that. I guess one. between that and that. The yeah. ice cream. Well, the ice cream's actually near ice cream. Uh, yeah. So. Could have made it a churro. <laughs> could have, could have. I don't want to. This should have been done here. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it could have been that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this is like right there, so. Yeah. This is the only one that's kind of off. Yeah. Unless I just wanted the popcorn to kind of spread out more. Yeah. Lead towards it. But. Donald's spilling it everywhere as he walks. He's not even paying attention. He's looking at Stitch. All right, so the back of here it says it's from US USA Opoly, licensed by Hasbro, the Op Dot Games. So it is a Disney Park licensed game, um, created by Hasbro and USA Opoly. It's another Opoly that we haven't really really got into their games. Their games with. We we did the Memorial Day, the one that we did before Memorial Day. Yeah. This is like the second was licensed one. Licensed by them. Mm -hmm. So that's the only backward space is this star space mm. that it says. So mm. there's one space that has all of them. Um, like the end of the very it. end. Yeah. So I guess you have to get exact amount to get to the castle. Is that how it goes? Yeah, like if you have to have orange orange reaches the multi multicolored rainbow space at the end of the path. Okay, if you're the first person to reach multicolored space, you've reached the castle and have won the game. Hmm. Okay. I like the gumdrop flower on the box. Oh. Every time you look at this, you just notice something cool, something different, because there's so much on this, and really did very well on the box. Yeah. Back's pretty vibrant too. All the sides are different. Multicolored. That one's got the ice cream, and this side's got the chocolate covered apple. apple. But, um, Tinkerbell's on both sides. Well, she flew. So the pitch is a little bit different. And then this side is the same. But <gasps> this. It's not there. And then it's just a bunny ear the Rice Krispie Treat with half chocolate. Bunny ear? Yeah, it's a Rice Krispie Treat. Those are Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse ears, I mean. 
So yeah, that's that's it. That is the whole setup of Candyland Disney, Disney Park theme edition. park edition. Magic Kingdom, basically here. Yeah. So what's what's the first look opinions here? First look rating. This looks pretty fun. Um, I'm excited to play it. Yep. Uh, <sighs> first look review. I'd give it about. I'd give it about four beach balls. Four beach balls? Yeah. Hmm. But about an eight out of ten. I really like how it is. On uh, very vibrant, very colorful. I wish there was some way they incorporated the licorice spaces in there. But that's really the only negative about it for me. So. Well, the licorice space normally would be what they. Uh... Lose a turn space? Lose a turn if you get caught on one of those, yeah. So they could have done something like... Uh, honey, I mean, honey would make sense over there. Because it's only a small portion of the board. It's only that middle portion. It could be It could be a part of the board, like a certain, yeah. certain area of the board. Because it's and the licorice. Like, like here, you get stuck on the honey, so they lose mm -hmm. a turn. Um, over here, it could have been Zerg that stopped you. Uh, yeah, because it's mainly that middle portion where the licorice is, so... Could have done honey, stuck uh, in honey. Uh, I'm trying to think anything else that could have incorporated. There's usually only about three, so... I know, so one more. Could have done a picture. Could have been Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Hooking you and keeping you going. You know, mm -hmm. stop and you want to turn. Um, yeah, I don't really think of anything. else. Whirly twirl in the cups. Fall down the rabbit hole. Something. But they could have done that. That's a cool donut. Yeah. Where are you? The donut. The donut thingy. Oh, yeah. I've seen somebody wearing a donut yeah, Mickey Mouse those ear are cool. Those are cool. Those are neat. Little. The ears. Mm -hmm. Little cute headbands there. If only they had one without the bow. <laughs> they have hats, or is it just the headbands? No, it was like a headband mm. with donut ears. The, the mini ears. Yeah. That's some pretty cool ears there today. Pretty cool ears at the park. Mm -hmm. wonder if anybody has a mini ears collection from all the ears. Probably. It's pretty, pretty cool. All the different Mickey Mouse ears they've come out with. The headbands, yeah. Everybody kind I've of seen R2-D2 themed. I've seen C-3PO themed. I've seen a whole bunch of things. Many different themed Mickey Mouse ears. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. And all do. Even though it's kind of funny seeing R2-D2 and C-3PO with Mickey Mouse ears. Mm -hmm. uh, or themed Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah. But you, wouldn't body think, you wouldn't think Star Wars was Disney. You know, but they did it. So. But they did it. 
So I mean, they they got their rights, and might as well do something with it. And like, hey, might as well merch it. Might as well merch it up. Get everything you can out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Disney's really buying everything, taking over everything. Yep. The king of entertainment. They really are. They really are. Well, that's about it. Um, on this first look and review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell. And if you're on Twitch, follow us on Twitch, you underscore me game, and you can chat, interact with us, and be featured in the YouTube videos, and to get exclusive streams and videos that do not get uploaded to YouTube. So, tons of benefits on being a Twitch follower. Yes. Head over to Yumi Vlogs. We got a bunch of Florida vacation, Disney parks, vlogs over there. So, go check them out. Head over to our featured channel page, and you can find it, Yumi Vlogs, right there. Tap it, and there you go. There's that page. Yep. That has been the Candyland, the Disney theme park edition. Stay tuned for the full playthrough. So I think one left to say. Well, two things. Mm-hmm. One. I don't want to have to, I don't want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the vacation to end. Yeah. But it has to. Yeah. All, th all good things must come to an end. Yep. And two... I'm especially that you guys like... You guys probably miss the studio. <laughs> yeah. And two... Don't get bored. Play a board game. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.